Big news being reported today by the New York Times and ESPN with the Trailblazers. A familiar billionaire has made an aggressive offer to buy the team. Huge, huge news. So from much more in this, we turn to our sports director, Adam Bjarnson. Adam, another fun fact, I think, if people don't already know, Nike, also their first basketball shoe, called the Blazer. So how's that? Oh, yeah. but you're just dropping some knowledge I'm trying, here. I'm trying to fit in with you. When I first heard this news today, you guys, I thought, this makes absolute perfect sense. It really does. Phil Knight seems to have his hands in just about everything sports related here in our state and beyond. But even though he's always been rumored, he has avoided purchasing or had any talks about connections with professional teams. Well, that is until today. Knight is reportedly partnering up with another investor and making a bid to purchase Oregon's crown jewel of sports, the Portland Trail Blazers. This was first reported by ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, who stated Nike co-founder alongside Dodgers co-owner Alan Smolinski made an offer of just over $2 billion to purchase the Blazers. The main purpose for Knight is to ensure that the team stays right here in Portland. The Blazers did release a statement, though, this afternoon to Woj, confirming that an offer was made by Phil Knight, but that the team remains not for sale. This afternoon, we got the chance to talk to one of the greatest Blazers ever to get his reaction. I think it would be great to have a local one, uh, but just a guy who's invested in the community, who uh, sees the value of a franchise such as the Blazers. Well, Phil certainly has the dollars to make it happen, uh, and certainly he'd be a great owner. He sure would. This, of course, is a developing story. Details and discussions currently getting hashed out. The NBA is not going to allow the Blazers to be moved, so let that kind of thought be released from your mind. They are looking to expand, not relocate teams. I've reached out to numerous contacts today. They all tell me in Paul Allen's trust, his assets must eventually be sold. So we will see. Time will tell exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, very interesting because it's always the thought has been he didn't want a conflict of interest with exactly. athletes who wear Nike brands on other teams. So something is possibly changed in his thought process. He, well, he's no longer, remember, he's no longer active with Nike. He's on okay. the Board of Governors, but he's not active. So ah. there's, there, therein lies the but, release, if you will. That's but he owns possible. a lot of shares. He owns a lot. <laughs>